morning. Today is Wednesday, the 6th of April. I am Zian. And I am ABS. And this is ACS Doha Live. In middle, in middle and high school, April, April is World Language Month. And did you know that the top five spoken languages around the world with native and second language speakers is Mandarin Chinese with over one billion speakers? Also, there is Hindi and English. It is um, one of the other most spoken languages in the world, and it has about, I think it was 500 million speakers each, and that's a lot. <laughs> there's also Spanish with around 400 million speakers, and there's also Arabic with around 250 million speakers. So if you want to learn a language, those are some good ones to learn. Senior banquet tickets on sale for graduates. Um, it's for 150 real per person, so if you want to go, you can, yeah. And you can get tickets from either Rosmine or Eva. And um, also, we have some special guests today. The Lower School Student Council will be organizing a talent show. And here to join us today is our special guests, Mohammed and Zaid. So, hi guys. Uh, you're here to tell us about sign-ups, right? Yes. What can you tell us about it? Hello, ACS. We are the ACS Lower School Counselors. We are here to tell you about ACS Got Talent. Miss Nia will make the participation slips to take part in the talent show. And um, would you guys say that people should join this talent show? Do you think it's something worth joining? Yeah, yeah. because you can show off your talents and you need to try and impress the judges. And like you'd get a high reputation because like, like, you'd be known if you'd win. So you're going to get famous in the school. Yeah. <laughs> so what grades is this for? This is for grade 1 to grade 5, so all the lower school students. Okay, well that's really great. Is there anything else you guys want to say about it? Uh, the judges would be, all the judges would be the teachers and the students and the judges for the principals will be the judges. That sounds super exciting and I know that you guys won't be participating but thank you so much for organizing this for all of the other students along with the help of the teachers. So thank you and thank you for joining us today. So have a nice day everybody. Now we will go to Lucinda with sports. Hi, I'm Lucinda, and here's your ACS sports for today. So the swim team is training hard in the pool for an upcoming Dubai trip for the Middle East Unity Cup at the end of the month. And also the grade four and five basketball teams are getting ready for the QPPSSA tournament in three weeks. Bye. And up next is world news with Natalie and Nivia. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to World News Wednesday. I'm your host, Nivia. And I'm Natalie, and this is World News. Um, we have some exciting headlines for you today. So recently, the Japanese uh, Space Agency um, had uh, spent a quarter of a billion dollars on a sophisticated um, telescope, which is partly designed by the Canadians, to space. But unfortunately, the scientists have lost contact with it. Thank goodness there aren't any humans or living organisms on board, but it is feared that the spacecraft um, has broken away from its main section. So a deal has been set between Turkey and the 28 states of the EU to take the refugees who have illegally entered Greece and, departed, and deport them to Turkey. So the EU has made a deal to pay Turkey and provide political privileges for dealing with this increased huge transfer for refu of refugees. Um, with many problems like uh, the Zika virus and um, one of the worst faced recessions, uh, Brazil is struggling to sell the 2016 Summer Olympics tickets, which is just four months away. And at France's aquarium, at France's Aquarium de Paris, you can now apply to have a sleepover in a room that is placed in the middle of a shark tank. So how awesome is that? That sounds pretty cool. Yes. And that's all the headlines for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. And up next, let's go to local weather.
Hi, I'm Muzna. And I'm Yumna. This is the weather for today. It, today it is currently 23 degrees Celsius. Today should be mostly sunny. The highest of today will be 30 degrees Celsius. It is starting to get warmer every day. Keep hydrated and wear your sunscreen. Bye.